This nibble originally aired on RSBMB Update, episode 778, The Infernal Source of Lore. Enjoy. Can I talk about the Hydra Gate briefly? Yeah, please do. This was the biggest lore reveal for me. I got very excited when I realized what this was. Uh, this is Lornab. Um, this Hydra is called Lornab. And this was a god. Aww. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Syrian? <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Lornab was a god from late first age lore um, on Gilinor. It was a Hydra, so it was like Tusker in that it was a beast god. It wasn't like a, a, a sentient god. Um, and, you know, it had made its home in Gilinor. Humans were in fear of it. It was eating them, so they were sacrificing things to it, worshipping it, trying to keep it away. And Zaros used it to bring his 12 demonic legions to Gilinor. He came here, he brought Duke Nemesis, who was a, a demonic, I think a Thonian duke, um, killed the Hydra and used its 12 heads, kind of wove the 12 heads into a gate, into the Hydra gate, and used its divine energy to open a portal to Infernus, bring over his 12 legions of demons. And that effort it cost the hydra killed it and turned it to stone and this is what we see here the 12 heads of the hydra um and i think after yes so zaros brought his 12 legions on and that was where he founded his empire um and the full account of it is given in the codex ultimatus which is a reward from the dig site quest it's the lord the lore drop you get from that quest um so yeah lornab's a character very, very important. Don't really know much else about him other than that. Now we finally get to see him, or what, what became of it. I mean, if you want to see a bit of Lornap without going to an Infernal Source, you can. Oh yeah, there's one of there's a replica of one of the heads in the Varrock Museum. Exactly. Um, but that's all we know about it previously. Did you just tell someone to go to a museum instead of playing archaeology? Yeah. I mean, it's a museum. It's fine. It's still archaeology related. It's acceptable. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Um, wasn't it's full meta? Wasn't Lornap the name? Didn't that come from like a competition at some point? I don't actually know. I don't know that much where it came from. I have no idea. I have no idea on that. And you know, I, I think what we have just described here. And I think I'm right on this is that, you know, I said I wasn't hooked into Infernal Source, but for somebody who is doing archaeology, it only takes to level 68 to get to this point where you can reach full mystery completion in the Infernal Source. And if you look into this and you follow the uh, supplemental sources with this, this is the hook for lore in archaeology, I have to say. I'm a hundred percent convinced of it now that this is what this dig site infernal source is for amongst other things. I think you're right because it's quite a major law conclusion to reach before you even get halfway through the skill. Yeah. Um, so I suppose it's kind of, here's your big first, I suppose you compare it to how the experience curve works. You get the little bits, the little bits, then you get the big experience drop. Here's your first big lore drop that exactly. then spurs you into keeping it for look, to and, look for more. And I mean, level 68 for all intents and purposes is mid-level, low mid-level. Is that about halfway? That, that's what I'd I say. Know. I'd say low mid-level yeah. just based on, um, you know, the average level for players is anywhere from 65 to 72 in all the skills except for archaeology. So mid-level for sure. Hmm. Lore nap is a reference to the term lore noob. <laughs> Not even kidding. Well, that's, that's what it says. That. Well, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect for us clan questers then. I had the no name idea was that the that name was it. suggested by Mod was suggested to Mod Jack by a player in game. Mod Osborne approved it. Brilliant. I had no um, idea. That's brilliant. <laughs> the dimension of disaster also has a separate story for um lore nap. Oh, what's mentioned there? Uh, he became known as the Dark Imperator and in some ways fulfilled the role that Zaros had in the main universe. Okay, yeah, that makes sense because um, it was the same area. It was the same area as Intestin. Uh, he was uh, eventually killed by uh, Zamorak, who led a rebellion against Lornap. <laughs> in the, in the, yeah. 
that's the alternate universe quest thing. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the dimension of disaster. Kind of your your alternate. And actually, uh, Iklavin uh, actually also started a rebellion, but saw how awesome Lornat was and defected. You can watch full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. You can also listen to audio versions of RSBNB Update at update.rsbnb.com. And feel free to subscribe to our show on any number of podcast listeners out there at update.rsbnb.com slash subscribe.